Hi, this is Natasha, and I wanted to share with you the newest arrivals to the Stampers Best Online Shop. And this is just some of the ones that I selected uh, for this month. Um, so I think there are, I don't remember the total number of new stamps, but I'll include a link in the description below so you can go check it out for yourself. So these are the ones that I've picked out to uh, work with. And now I'm thinking Thanksgiving and um, fall themes. So I got this Apple Harvest stamp. And it's a nice size. And I think because the images are not simple but clean, um, they'll make paper piecing simple or simpler. For example, you could stamp this on different shades of greens, yellows, reds, uh, and then paper piece the individual apples or just some of the apples if you want and definitely can color them in. And it's a nice size so it would make a nice focal point on a layout or a card. Let's say you go apple picking and you want to capture the memories and you can always make an embellishment. You could stamp it once in black and actually I might do that because I think I have a photograph of our nephew Eli picking apples uh, from his daycare class just this past week. Um, all juicy with the stuff running down his chin. It was hysterical. So I have that photograph which I can give my sister some embellishments by using the stamp. So I would stamp it once and cut it out in probably black or maybe even brown or gray to tone it down. Sometimes if you don't want the um, border, the lines to stand out too uh, extremely, um, don't forget you could use either second generation stamping or uh, a lighter color ink if you don't want it to, to really stand out but I think I would stamp it initially in black then once again um, on a white piece of paper to color in probably the basket and then paper piece the apples that would make a great and then layer the uh, them in between on dimensional foam that would make a great uh, embellishment maybe even flock the little leaves so I think I smell a new project with this one so I was looking forward to seeing this in person I'm quite happy with this I think I'll make easy trimming and stamping so stay tuned for that so that's apple harvest this is travel trunk very vintagey image almost pirate pirate-esque so that's kind of cool another cameo brooch very pretty image more kind of greek italian like romanesque inspired i think rather than dainty and this one is gorgeous. Gibson Girl Portrait. Nice stamp. And this is a nifty gifty. Look at this penguin hug. How cute is that? I know. Um, Halloween, um, Halloween. Christmas is going to be here before you know it. In this beautiful image um, called Young Artist. I thought this would be great on back of my ATCs. This one is called Airship. And I always get mine unmounted. I mount them myself. Holly Branch. I will be doing a holiday season card series. I'm just wrapping up my Halloween one. So I picked up some stamps for the holiday one. And I think that this might look gorgeous in iridescent embossing powder as a focal point in a frame on a card for the holidays. So that's Holly Branch. And then this beautiful vintage Santa. And look at the size of it. Here's my hand. This would be an entire, you know, could take up majority of the card. There's some text in the background here. There's a lot of filigree work. Very detailed. I would definitely stamp this with um, a detail ink. So that's really cool. And then this um, is actually from last month's release, but I had missed it when I placed my order. It's Crochet Background. And again, lots of options. Look at how deep etched that red rubber is. Be great stamped on white or um, on darker colors with white ink. And I still have to find white ink I really truly love. And then this one is Music Flourish Background. Because at the, you know, I think it's one of those nice stamps to have that you can, because there's no words, so it doesn't really, I have it upside down? No, it's this way. 
Um, it doesn't specifically say holiday season, but it's a nice background image to have. So there you go. There's my um, Stamper's Best new releases. And again, there are quite a few more that I did not pick up. Um, I think I may start my holiday shopping as well. So I think the first stamp I'm definitely going to use is this one. But as a matter of practice, when I take them out of their packaging before, you know, as I mount them, I stamp out each and every one. I kind of acquaint myself with a stamp to see where, you know, how much pressure I would need to apply, particularly if there's a lot of details, which ink um, the stamp stamps in the best. Sometimes you have to kind of, you know, play around with that and see what's the most reliable, like when there's a lot of details or if you want it to be embossed. So that's what I usually do. I kind of gather all my stamps, mount them, and then use just a regular printer paper to stamp them out to see how they stamp, but I'm really looking forward to playing with this one, I think, probably first. So stay tuned. That probably might be my first project. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.